SQL, if you want to use an AI powered browser that can perform tasks on your behalf, then there are some options like there's the Comet browser, ChatGPT Atlas from OpenAI, and there is also GenSpark browser. But there is another option from Microsoft that you can try, and perhaps it is something that could be already installed on your computer. So I was talking about the Microsoft Edge browser, and recently they just added something called Copal Actions, and that means this browser can be controlled by AI to perform certain tasks. For example, you can ask AI to book a hotel room or find some cheapest ticket from one airport to another, and some other tasks that require some human interaction can be done by this AI agent in the browser. But before you can utilize this feature, there are a few things that you need to do. So first of all, you have to update the browser to the latest version. And secondly, at the moment when I'm recording this video, this AI agent feature, the couple action feature is only available in some countries. And I think mainly it is in USA. So if you're not from that country, then I guess you can use a VPN service, but it is not going to be a smooth experience. But regardless, it is somewhat possible. Now, after that, you can click this button and then go to settings and then navigate to AI innovations. So right here, if you haven't enabled the copilot mode, then you can click uh, the button right here. There's gonna be a button. And basically when you click that, it will open this page and you have to enable that option, the copilot mode via that page. So just enable this toggle. And there you go. Now the copilot mode is enabled. You can go back to the settings. And basically we're not done yet because we have to enable the Copilot action. So just click actions in edge preview. And again, there's going to be a button that you can click and then you can enable the option. So right here, uh, there are three options. There is light, balance, and streak. I think balance is the perfect option, but in case that AI is not able to perform some certain tasks, then you might want to use the light mode. But I think balance is the best option for most people. Now, after that, when you're done with the copilot mode and also the action, then you can start utilizing this AI agent in the browser. I'm going to open a new tab and here I'll try to ask AI to navigate to Google flight and then find me the cheapest ticket. So this is the instruction that I'm going to use. Please navigate to Google flights and then find me the cheapest airplane ticket from New York to Barcelona. So this is the instruction, just send a message. And uh, if you explicitly mention that you want AI to do something, then this action feature will be used by default. So you'll see something that looks like this. It is opening a new page. It is trying to do something. And you can actually see the progress by clicking this button that says watch progress. So it will you know, try to navigate the whole page. It will click some buttons. It, it will scroll the page, etc. So. It is, again, just like a real person would do when they're trying to do something. So this process might take several minutes depending on the complexity of the website and also the prompt. So I'll be back in a second. Well, it's been a while, but apparently there is no progress at all. So the AI seems to be stuck. It is not able to continue. I'm not sure why, but I suspect it's caused by an unstable connection. So I'm using a VPN service at the moment and that it could be introduced some instability when AI agent is communicate, communicating with the browser. And that's my theory, which I think is pretty strong because I use the Comet browser a lot. I'm using its agentic feature, but when I'm using a VPN service, there is a good chance that the service will be disconnected and it's not able to continue the work. It happens a lot. So I suppose that if you're not from the USA and you want to use a VPN service for the AI agent feature in the Edge browser, then I think that's not a great idea at the moment, unless if you know that the connection can be stable. So I'm hoping that uh, this agent feature will be available in the future. So anyone can enjoy this amazing amazing feature, feature in the browser without having to use a VPN service and it's going to be more and more reliable. But yeah, that's basically how you can enable the action mode in the Microsoft Edge browser and how you can actually use it. Although in this video, I wasn't able to actually give you the full tutorial due to some connection issues, but overall you can expect something that kind of look like this when you're using the feature. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you 
on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.